Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I haven't done one for nearly three weeks now, I expect. Because um, we haven't really been that busy. I mean, we've had quite a few calves, which I'll show you now. Um, and other than that, the weather, it's nice and sunny today. As you can, well, it's cloudy, but the sun is behind the clouds. Um, uh, we've been busy calving, so I'll put a clip in now. Our uh, first Hereford calves and their twins out of a Belgian blue. So that clip you just saw was from a couple of weeks ago and it was this cow here had calved and she has had twins by obviously you can see. Whitey's gonna get in my way here. So yeah, her twist here she is with her two twins out of Cosmo our bull, Hereford Bull. Um both Hereford calves. They don't look like twins, that one looks like a blue, and this one actually looks like a Hereford. But yeah, one was backwards as I said in the clip, but they're both good now. This was the backwards one, but they're both looking really well, really pleased with them. And then this one calved probably a week ago, and that's her calf there next to her. Another Hereford calf, another heifer. And then this blue calf, probably around the same time as that one. And there's a calf as well, another Hereford calf, but looks more like a blue again. So yeah, we've got three with calves and four calves, so that was a good result because we got the twins obviously. And then a few of these are due to calf. I think sh the brown swift will be next, Possibly, maybe her, but I reckon she'll be next. And then I'll take you over to the other shed where there is another two calves that we had, not last night, the night before. So here are the other two that calved, just hopping over here. This one calves first, and then the brown swiss calves second, so... Um, oh no, I'm getting confused here. Actually, one of the blues calved the same night. This one calved when the blue did, so swapped them around. But anyway, again, two Hereford calves. And this one, out of the brown swiss, is come out nice and brown, so it's nice to have a brown Hereford. That's a heifer, that one's a bull. Um, so... Yeah, this one, she calved Saturday night, and I came back, got home about 11-ish, came down. There was a sheep lamb, so I, or lambing, so I helped lamb that one. And then the blue that calved was looking like she was going to calve, so I brought her into this pen here. And she wasn't quite ready, went to bed. Kieran got back from a party at about half past one, came and got me, it was backwards. So, um, same as the twin, the twin was backwards, and so was his other blue. So, um... Helped him at half one, pull that one out. And then we looked over and saw this brown swiss was calving. So, but wasn't quite ready yet. So we went to bed about half, about two-ish I expect. Half, no, probably about half two for a couple of hours. Came back down at about four, calved this one. She was really uh, hard to calve. The calf was quite big for a first heifer. So like when they have their first calf, you generally want a smaller calf because um, they've never had a calf before, so it's all quite tight back there. So it was a bit of a pull. I'm going to use the calving jack, which is here, which I did show using a different video. And uh, got the calf out all alright in the end. He's, she's happy, mother's happy. Um, by the time we did that, it was like 6 o'clock, so that night I didn't get much sleep at all because I had to get back up to start feeding. Um, so yeah, I might have got two hours sleep then, but it was a good result because we've all got happy, happy cows and happy calves, which is what we uh, mainly want, so uh, it was worth staying up all night for. But yeah, really pleased and happy we got a nice little brown heifer calf. So for the rest of today's video, I've got the spreader on here on Kieran's tractor on the 210. And we're going to go spread some muck in the field over there behind this mound. Got the handler ready as well. Yeah, all filled up with fuel. Get up for lunch quickly and then we'll go and get that spread. I'm here on my own today. So I'll be jumping in between the two, so I'll get some, hopefully get some decent clips of us spreading some, some muck. And then I'll take you through, this is, I'll just spin you. So this field here we had maize in last year. I did show us harvesting this field of maize. And it's going to go back to grass, so I'll show you the process of um, how we go about getting from maize stubble to grass. But there's the muck heap, so that's the first job to get that um, all spread across the field. And then we can work it in. So yeah, I'm going to go have some lunch and I'll be back with you. Just brought the uh, handler out to the field. 
where all this dung is. Not that much here actually, there's only a small part, but it's what we brought out the yard over the winter. Right. A lot of ruts in this field. I think I'm probably going to put the subsoil on, possibly tomorrow, and rip through these ruts to try and clear some of the water. Because um, the trouble is they've rutted up. Although it's been quite warm in the last few days, there's still water staying in the ruts, whereas if I put the subsoil on and pull through them all, Hopefully it'll drain away. There's a couple of little puddles in the dip. Could nearly do with putting a drain in there or filling that in a little bit. But the majority of the field's all nice and dry. It's just, yeah, that small dip there and the ruts here. But even these are drying out fairly well. These all used to have water in, but there's only some of the deeper ones that have got water in now. So yeah, I'm just gonna go get the, walk back and get the tractor and then we'll be away. Right, I've got the, got the tractor. I've already got a load in here because I loaded some up from the yard yesterday. So I'm going to spread this load out. We have spread a couple loads out from the yard, but I'll just go over it and make sure it's plenty thick because, as I expect, a lot of you have seen nitrogen costs an absolute fortune. So this will not be getting any. This will just be getting a nice load of muck, and hopefully that will do the job because, um, yeah, I think mean, well, last I heard it was like over a pound pound a kilo for uh, fertiliser so yeah it's just too expensive to put on grass ground um, so luckily we've got plenty of muck to put on but I know other people aren't so lucky and have to, have to use artificial fertilisers but yeah we're quite lucky that we've got plenty of muck for our, all our own ground but um, yeah I'll get this one spread and then we'll get back to the telling hand there but yeah lovely day I did get changed and I had a shower because I had to blow a load of cake into our trailer and I had to hold onto the pipe and it got very dusty. So that's why my t shirt's a different colour now. Just a quick update, we've uh, I've got a few loads moved. Hit a bit of a soft spot here on the path, so I'm gonna try and keep reversing back. And I've sort of parked back a bit because yeah, my front tire was uh, sinking a bit there. But got probably a quarter of the path gone, but it's still quite wet underneath, so I'm struggling a little bit, but um, it should be okay. So yeah, hope you like the uh, time lapse I've been trying, uh, I've found the setting on my phone and I've got my tripod now, so I've got this one here and I can sort of put on a bar and I've got a tripod in the Teleana as well, so I've just been trying some different angles, so I thought some of them looked quite good. Um, it's just a bit scary putting my phone outside the tractor on that while I'm driving along and seeing it wobble about, but luckily it hasn't come out yet, so hopefully it won't. Yeah, I'll uh, crack on with this and then I'll update you in a bit. Gear has just come out to see how long get on, but we're uh, gonna call it a day because we've got to start feeding up and milking and things in a minute. So I've got most of it done there as well, not that much left to be honest. So we'll get that cleared up tomorrow, but um, that'll probably be it for this video. So hope you enjoyed it. I'll probably try and do another one quite soon instead of waiting so long because uh, I'll try and do some of ripping up this field and sort of what we do to uh, get this back to grass but yeah hope you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you liked it and i'll see you in the next one i struggle to see which one it is i think it's the one that just faced right at the floor actually yeah just the one that faced right at the floor <laughs> just love how they jump in like on the u
Uh, little cheap piece. 